All right, so this PDF has, and if somebody's not here, that PDF comes from, what is it? Uh, from part two, 2.1 Windows, it's this PDF. Uh, we're going to start with the window on the bottom. So if you want, just to make it easier, drag this over. Oops. Oop. Have to zoom out all the way. Drag it under so that the first page is the uh, sliding window profile. And the second one is uh, window profile. So the difference between these two windows is this is a single hung window. That means that uh, it has two panels and one of them slides either up or down and the other one is fixed. So the window is divided into two panels, one on the top, one on the bottom. And either the bottom slides up to open or the top slides down to open. There's a double hung in which both panels slide. So you can either open top or the bottom. This is a section through it. So let's just quickly go over it. So this would be the wall. And that's the host for the window, if we're talking in Revit terms. This thing here is the frame. So this goes all the way around the opening. This is the rails of the sash so the rails is basically the frame that holds the glass and the sash is that frame with the glass so there are two of them that means that one stays uh, in this position and the other one slides up and down uh, this is just the glazing it's centered on the rails and that beyond is this frame so this frame goes all the way around the second one, this one is a casement window, and does it say here? No, it doesn't say. But basically this one, it just opens from either side. It opens either from the left uh, out or from the right out. So the hinge is either on the right or the left. We're going to create this one first because this one takes longer and it's a little bit more complicated. This one is easier and it's going to be pretty much the same as this one. The only difference is that on plan, we're going to show uh, the swing of the window. Right? This one, it doesn't swing, uh, so we're just going to show the frame and the, um, the rails. All right, so let's get started. Uh, open Revit. Uh, yes, it's a new file. It's a new family. And I'm going to stop this for a minute while you guys open Revit. Oops, not stop, pause. All right, so if you go to Home Depot and search for a single hung window, you'll get something like this. So it's two panels. All right, it looks something like that. And in this case, you can see the lock there. So that means that the one on the inside slides up. And when you slide it down, you lock it so nobody can open it from the outside. So this is a single hung, a double hung. It's pretty much, it looks the same. It's just that both panels are operable. Uh, this is a casement. Uh, so this is your typical window. Uh, it's a single one. Uh, usually homes have doubles, right? So they open from the sides and then there's a mullion in the center or part of the frame in the center. This one either opens from here and the hinge is here or the other way around. The hinge is here and this side is the one that opens. Uh, so just like the title block and the dining table, this is a family. Uh, so we're going to click on new under the family section. We're going to go to English Imperial. And Scroll down all the way to the end, and it's going to be window. So this is a template for the window. Uh, right now it's telling us that uh, the window is going to be equal on the center, right? So if it fits three feet, it's going to go one foot six to the left, one foot six to the right. 
this is the host or the wall. Uh, so this right now it's a generic wall. It it's basically taking uh, the place of the host. When you bring it into a project file, then it's gonna go into whatever walls you have in there. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is move these labels out of the way. So you will select both and either just drag them or use the move tool. Those don't really do anything. Uh, they're just text, so they don't have, uh, they're not labeled, so they're not doing anything parametric. This is just telling us that this is the exterior, this is the interior side of that wall. Uh, it already comes with some reference planes. So it has this one, it's called left, right, center, left, right. And this one here, this one is called center, front, back. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, six uh, reference planes. But those are gonna be two on the plan and four on the elevation. So let's go to create reference plane or just type in RP, that's the shortcut. And we're going to create one on the outside and one on the inside. This one in the middle is too short so we're going to extend it out. Uh, click on it. If it doesn't highlight, it's going to highlight the wall. Hit tap so that it circles through everything that's close. And you need to unlock it first, unpin it. Otherwise it won't move. So you will unpin it and then drag one end out the other one and pin it again. Do the same for these two, so just match the one in the center. And we're going to rename them. Uh, so this one is going to be exterior wall. Exterior face of wall. And this one is going to be interior face of wall. Once you rename them, we're going to align them. So this one's going to be aligned with the exterior face of the wall, this one with the interior, and we're going to lock them. So you're going to go to uh, the Align tool, or AL, select the outside face of the wall, aligned, and lock it. And you're going to do the same for the interior face of the wall. Align it and lock it. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll let you guys catch up. Uh, so these are two of the six. The other four are going to be on the exterior elevation. Uh, so go to exterior elevation or just exterior on the project browser. And before we go any further, make sure you save the file. Because we haven't, we haven't even saved it anywhere. Uh, so I'm going to save this one. Week 8. And this is going to be... Window family, oops. And this is a, a single long window in parentheses double. So it's going to be single hung, but it's going to be double. So they're going to be two single hung windows. What's that? Can you keep that again? Are you saving the No, I'm just saving uh, just the name. It's uh, Window Family. 
it's here. Uh, window family, single hung window. And just type in double in parentheses. It's up here. Oops. Let me. Yeah, actually, you can see that. Uh, actually, we're going to be placing six reference planes on the elevation, not just four. Uh, so before we do that, let's go to family types to flex it. Well, not to really flex it because we haven't changed anything, but we're going to change the width to six feet and the height to three feet. Here. Okay. On when, uh, family types. Okay. In quotation marks, the flex spot. <laughs> uh, and select the width and move it up so it's width and then height. And click OK, and this should become wider and shorter. All right, so the six reference planes, uh, what they're going to be doing is they're going to give us a reference for uh, the frame of the window. So this little L-shaped thing. Bless you. So we're going to need one for this side, one on each side of this one, one to the inside of this, one below this one, and one above this one. So just type in RP or go to create and reference plane. Just create six. So it's four vertical. It doesn't matter where you place them now. We're going to constrain them with uh, dimensions. So the four that I created are this one, just to the right of this. And then two one on each side of the center, and then one to the left of the right edge. Am I recording? Yes. The other two, one is going to be below the top, and the other above the seal. So the ones that are created are the ones that are shorter and these and these. So it's this one, this one, this one, this one, and these two. So I'm going to pause the video while you guys get to this six reference planes. Okay, so now we need to be referencing this guy here. So we have, let me see if I can highlight it can't so what I'm gonna do is do a snipping tool so we're going to create that so how would you do it Remember when we created the legs and the table, we used uh, some of these? It's the frame that goes all the way around. It's the frame of the window. So it's that thing. Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, Can I what? Void what? Uh, well, the void will take away from a solid. So if you don't have a solid, you cannot use a void. Oh, okay. uh, one thing is that the frame is going to come down here as well, because that's going to be the division between the two windows. So you cannot use a sweep because a sweep will just follow one path, right? One closed loop. But if we have something in the middle, it cannot go down and then